Good morning, Los Angeles. It's Wednesday, and I went to Air One, which is a high-end grocery store here in Los Angeles that has a hot bar and pre-made food that people rave about. I purchased the Emma Chamberlain salad, formerly known as uh, kale with white beans, and I want to try it on camera. The tire's making us matcha. Um, gold. I love gold. We love gold. I worked with them one time. Me too. Okay, so I got the chef special, which was, did I say special? Special, which is a skewer of peppers, salmon, and onions. So I got a few of those. And then I decided to get chicken tenders. Because <laughs> I just want to see what a nice, healthy chicken tender compares to like a diner one. I didn't get any sauce though, so I regret that. But this is a turmeric chicken tender and everything's organic. And then I also thought that my leftover potatoes from all time would make a great side. They're Japanese sweet potatoes and they still have a little bit of sauce on them. So this seems like a nice, well-rounded lunch and I will try it all for you to tell you what is worth it. I might start early and take a little bite of this salad just to just to see. Do you want to put your potatoes in the oven too? Yes, I do. Okay, let's get some avocado. I need a bean. Like, what are your honest opinions? I mean, it's good. I think I thought it was totally okay. I it's, was like, yeah. I can't believe that this salad is being hyped up because it's truly just kale. <laughs> this would be incredibly easy to make. Yeah. But I also reminded myself that Emma is, is new to cooking, right? Like, she just got into cooking this year, and if I was, like, really new to cooking and... In dining, like I might think that this is like a really amazing salad, but we cook all the time and we go out to eat all the time. But I just feel like our palate is like this is a good, it's like a good dish to accompany something better. Yeah, but like even the broccoli salad is better than the salad, don't you think? And what broccoli salad? The broccoli salad we made like billi a billion. Oh, I thought of you time. were referring to something. Oh, from Erwan. Oh yeah, the Bon Appetit broccoli salad. Yeah, it's like there are so many. Just, mm. that's what that salad made you do. <laughs> See, that's how you can tell the difference. Like, this is good, but you should be dancing if something is great. Yeah, you should be dancing. And I've been dancing all week. I've been eating like a the flaky queen. Bread. The flaky bread from Kismet. The ragu from all Did time. Did you film all time? Mm-mm. I might have a photo. You just said, how's Tara doing out there? Send her my love. Thanks, Everyone Jesus. loves you. Oh, oh. I love everyone. Thanks for watching the air one. No! Stay tuned for when the food is hot and I will be back to keep up with this taste test. Look at Tara's cute little table. I didn't even give you a taste test. The chef's special, which was a salmon kebab with vegetables, did the job, nothing revolutionary. The kale salad grew on me a bit, like I would buy it again but it's probably not as good as you you think it will be. Um, the potatoes from all time were incredible. We'll be getting those again. We'll be actively getting those again. And the street corn on the plate was left over from another restaurant that I didn't even go to. It was Tyra's leftovers, but who doesn't love street corn? <laughs> day drink anymore. I played myself. Tyra and I are getting dinner with Maddie. We have an 8.45 reservation. We were choosing between an 8.45 and a 5.45 and we're, she suggested the 5.45. Sorry, I'm like really not here. <sighs> and we were, we were like, are you dealing with some New York girlies? We do not eat at 5.45. You're a grandma. So we, I, 
I begged her to come in at 845. She's coming at 845 and I'm showing up like a zombie. I'm waking up from my hour of like a heated drunk nap, a horrible. And we're going to one of the best restaurants in all of Jesus. Guys here. Yeah. We're going to eat at one of Los Angeles' best new restaurants and I played myself. I played myself. Don't, I can't even think about how I look right now. I really can't. Oh, this is not good. Sometimes you gotta pull it together, and that's what I did. Hello everyone, gifts are fun to give. And over Christmas, with every gift that I gave someone, I included photos of us that I got printed in the gifts. And that seemed to be the standout joy out of everyone's gift opening experience. They were, you know, very thankful for the gifts I gave them, but once they got to the photos, smiles were bigger. And a site called Canvas Discounts reached out to me, so I gave it a shot. Really, really fun. I got one, two, three, four, five things for a little over a hundred dollars i got a variety of things that are all custom and are really fun gifts to get people starting off with something you know that you've probably seen before a custom mug my cousin and i went to hawaii and we used the photo booth so i got the photo of us printed on a mug and now when i drink my tea or my coffee in the morning i can see her face and it's such a sweet memory then it gets a little wilder I love Bentley. Bentley is my grandma's dog who I like to pretend is my own and I miss her dearly and we took her to the beach a couple years ago and she was asleep on the beach chair and it was the cutest thing ever. I didn't just print off a photo of Bentley. No, no, no. I got Bentley made into a puzzle. A puzzle. Come on. So freaking cute. Then some of you know that I worked with Nike last fall. And I know that I've got some proud parents. My dad needs to show me off and he's a math teacher. So I'm like, let's get him a poster of me posing for Nike that he can have in his classroom. So that's what I did. So dad, this is for you. Then I thought to myself, I'm a self-proclaimed photographer. I always love the photos I take. I got this gorgeous sunset photo in New York City that I took on my iPhone. And now it's in this gorgeous frame. I know you guys are creative. I know you guys have great photos and you can do silly things, but you can do serious things as well. And for example, it's like the puzzle, it's like $15. The mug was also like 14 or $15. This is the final and most wild card of the whole thing. I took this photo of my hands at the beach, credit to this girl right here, but it was this girl's idea. I knew I wanted it to be my new podcast art, but I've always loved the photo and I thought, okay, I could get it printed like this. No, we're gonna get it as a mat. Not a doormat, I'm gonna have it right below my sink so my feet can be comfortable when I'm doing dishes. And that's what I did. <laughs> and it's really soft on your feet, it's very comfortable. And this is $20? I'm sorry, but there is so much creativity that can be used with this site. I had so much fun picking out all these items and they're all so unique and different. I think the puzzle is probably the coolest. I think there's a lot that you can do with that. So if you guys are interested, you can use the coupon code LEXI15 to get 15% off of Canvas discounts. I'll have the link in the description box and get yourself or your friends or your family some fun gifts. There's so much to do. Decorate your room with your own photos. Also, getting things framed is so annoying. So for something to arrive cropped and perfectly framed, chef's kiss. So thank you so much to Canvas Discounts for sponsoring today's video. Back to the vlog. We're getting dinner. We're getting dinner. First course just arrived. dinosaur coffee and I just had a lovely meeting and the weather's nice as per usual so I think I'm gonna walk home it might take an hour but I'm gonna do it
back to Zyra's and Ella's. I would include Ella, you've met her on the vlog before, but I'm staying in her room while she's, you know, modeling in Fashion Week all over Europe. Freshened up, and now I'm going to guest star on TK's Make and Moves podcast. So my Uber is on its way, and we're going to chat. And then tomorrow, I'm going to be on Chris Clements' Unhinged podcast. So look forward to content with me in other places besides my podcast. Which, if you're curious, I always have linked down below. I'm the host of the Alexi podcast. We're just, you know, taking some content. The content made me content. Several hours have passed. And Tyra and I have been watching Love Island. I watched an episode of Pam and Tommy. And now we're getting fit to go to Melody and we're gonna meet up with Jenny. Jenny from where I live. Tyra looks like a model right now. Hey, how y'all doing? And I look like her butch girlfriend. <laughs> Basically, Tyra said no after the vlog clip. So we've gone through a transformation. Here. Including the final step. Come. All right, this is the transformation. We can open up the blazer jacket. Yes. These yeah, are the sisterhood of Tyra's closet. <laughs> Come and strut and pose and pose. Finishing touch is Pat McGrath lip gloss. <laughs> you could even put a little gloss on the eyes. Except for that my bangs will stick to them. Um, and we don't want that. But the lashes. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound right, boys. 